Well, the Mid Peninsula Regional Open Space District is a grand gem of nature, where many species of California's native wildlife are free to roam, reproduce, and continue ancient ways of life as if one of America's biggest and most modern urban areas were not right nearby. But some species are very few in number, quite elusive, and very vulnerable, and need some help from us humans to make it here in the 21st century. Thankfully, help is on the way. We're walking up to a grove of old growth redwood trees just around the bend here. Resource management specialist Kareen Tokatlian takes us deep into mid pens El Corte de Madera Preserve, seeking evidence of a nearly invisible denizen of our coastal forests, the endangered marble murrelet. One of our primary missions or goals is to preserve those habitats um, and to uh, make sure that they still provide suitable nesting habitat for marbled murrelets. Marbled murrelets are small seabirds that come ashore in the spring and summer to nest and raise their young on big branches of towering old growth redwood and Douglas fir trees in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Sadly, most coastal old growth has been logged but thankfully, not all of it. Midpen manages its remaining old growth giants very carefully, and Corrine hopes they might support nesting murrelets. But it's hard for her to know if or when they do. Little birds hiding high in huge trees are almost impossible to see. So marbled murrelet are a very secretive species. They tend to fly into their nesting area using the cover of darkness to sort of help them um, stay undetected uh, as they fly into their nesting areas. To find murrelets out here, Corrine listens more than she looks. So this is an acoustic recording unit, what we call an ARU. These high-tech ears can be here when Corrine can't, picking up these distinctive calls of the murrelets when they fly to and from the sea to feed. It tells us a lot about the distribution um, and the activity of this species and their population. So all of these little pieces of information really help us as managers understand how we can better support them. Supporting and managing for murrelets also means managing human behavior. And that's where we come in. Marble murrelets um, are primarily impacted by corvid species, so crows, ravens, and particularly Stellar's jays in the redwood forest areas. These are extremely intelligent birds, um, and it's been found that Stellar's jays have actually um, become adept at finding marbled murrelet nests in the forest and depredating the eggs. These brilliant birds cleverly steal any food of ours they can find, laying around our campsites and picnic tables and that can lead to explosions in their populations, gravely threatening murrelets. We can help murrelets survive simply by keeping our food from their predators. So if we do our part, the corvid populations and the jay populations will stay at a more natural level, and that would put less pressure on a species like marbled murrelet, who are already struggling with other issues like habitat loss. With Corrine's help and ours, we may be fortunate to hear the sounds of hope for murrelets in these woods for a long time to come.